Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy NTG back here with another video today. And today, guys, I'm gonna be going over the top 10 budget beasts currently in College Football 25 Ultimate Team. Before we do get in the video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on post notifications. Guys, we are only five subscribers away from 1,000. I appreciate the support so much. You guys have been killing it the last few days. Let's keep it up. Let's hit 1,000 and let's continue to grow. It really does mean a lot. I appreciate all you guys who have subscribed, and we're so close to 1,000, so let's get there. But without further ado, let's hop right into it. So let's talk about some budget beast. So for me, a budget beast is a card under 20,000 coins. It's a card that can play at a very, very high level in the game. So naturally, most of these cards are going to be between the 80 and 81 overall range. That's kind of where 20k or below will currently get you. And then of course, the golds and stuff or the uncommons, whatever you want to call them, the 79s and belows. If you really want those cards, go out and get them, but I think you should be sticking to these 80 and 81 overalls. So let's start with the quarterback. If you don't have a quarterback, this is probably the best option for you. Um, he plays at Florida, and no, it is not Graham Ertz. They actually have two 80 overall quarterbacks. Uh, we're talking about DJ Lagaway, I believe is how you pronounce his name. Uh, 80 speed, 80 throw power, 80 short, 80 medium, 67 deep, 80 throw under pressure, 79 throw on the run, 65 play action. So obviously there's a few things he doesn't do well. He doesn't throw the deep ball particularly well. So if you're a guy who's going to lob it over the top and stuff like that, this probably is not the guy for you to be honest. But I feel like a lot of people are using that um, medium type throws along with the read option stuff. So the read option is pretty nice with 80 speed. He'll be able to run very, very well. He's faster than a lot of players in this game. His throwing power is pretty solid at an 80, and his accuracies in the short and medium phases are very good. His throw on the run is good as well and under pressure. He sticks 3241, so he's not a small body whatsoever. This DJ Lagway is probably one of the better quarterbacks you can get for under 20K right now, especially if you're running more of a college-type offense where you're running read options and stuff of that nature. So the next card we're going to talk about, we're going to move over to the halfback position, and this guy's going to be coming from the University of Nebraska. If we can find him real quick, Nebraska, where are they at? There they are right there. Um, we're talking about Dante Dowdle. I'm going to pronounce If I pronounce, mispronounce this, guys, I apologize. Dante Dowdle right here. 80 speed, 80 excel, 80 agility, 80 carrying, 61 catching, 80 change of direction, 80 trucking with 80 break tackle. You might notice a little bit of a trend in this list. A lot of these guys are very, very balanced or excel very well at one specific thing. But 80 speed is good enough in the game. 80 excel is good, 80 agility, 80 carrying. Literally 80 is across the board except his catching, in which I don't think there's a single halfback with 80 plus catching in the game this year quite yet. He's 6'2". He's also not a tiny body. He will break tackles, guys. He is going to be a wrecking ball out there. 215, that's enough weight. Overall, he can move well, he can truck well, and he's got enough speed that he can break a long run. This 81 overall Dante Dowdle is not a bad power, power back for your scheme. Not to mention, he can also be a little agile. So let's move on to the wide receivers. We got two we're going to talk about right here. First one, I do not believe is a core elite. This is going to be a promo type card. We have the, in case you missed it, promo, Demir Blank MC. 81 speed, 80 jumping, 79 catching, 78 catch in traffic, 78 spec, 79 short, 76 medium with 81 deep. This is a deep threat receiver, guys. 81 speeds is probably going to be the fastest you're going to get right now in the game for an 80 to 81 overall wide receiver. So you're really excelling in the um, speed category. He's only 5'10". That is the only knock on this card, in my opinion. I mean, if you want to knock his medium route running, okay. But usually route running isn't the most important thing, especially at the beginning of the year. But he's 5'10", which does suck. He's a little bit tiny, but he's very fast. He will hold on to the ball with 79 catching, and he can run some deep routes pretty nice with 90 or excuse me 81 i wish it was 91 81 deep route running so overall he jumps well as well this is not a bad card in case you need a you know a slot wide receiver specifically i'd want to put him into he's a good deep threat type guy other receiver we're going to talk about this is going to come from the university of auburn we have ourselves as the only ones that are up right now are the quick sell ones, Robert Lewis. Robert Lewis, 80 speed, 80 jumping, 80 catching, 76 catch in traffic, 80 spec, 80 short, 80 medium, 80 deep. Once again, you hear a lot of 80s right there. He's 5'10", so again, he's not the biggest guy, but 5'10 isn't the smallest swell. Give me 5'8 or 5'9. You know, 5'10 will get it done most of the time, I'd say. And his ba I mean, his stats are so balanced, guys. You guys can see almost 80s across the board besides his catch in traffic, and a lot of times that stat isn't going to matter and you know, all the time. So his 80 speed is going to be good enough. His jumping is going to be good enough. His catch is going to be good enough. And he's going to run routes very, very well. This Robert Lewis is not a bad card. 
So I try to keep it five on offense and five on defense. And that means we're in transit to our last player. And it's going to come from LSU. It is a tight end. And he is a very, very good tight end. If you do not have someone, this guy is the man to go for. I'm not even going to pronounce that first name, but we're going to call him Mr. Pimp. Pimped in right here, a vertical threat tight end, 81 speed, 81 strength, 81 catching, 80 catch in traffic, 81 spec, 75 short, 73 medium with 65 run blocking. So initially his run blocking is not too bad for a tight end at 65, it'll be good enough. 81 speed is elite at a tight end, not to mention he is six foot six. He is a big body who will moss some people with 81 speed. His catching is very good. His route running isn't the best, you know, it could be a little bit better with only 75 and 73. That does, you know, suck that he's not an elite, elite route runner. But regardless, he's a tall, fast tight end. That is what you look for in a tight end. So that is why Mr. Pimpton right here is a very, very good budget beast type card if you need him. Now let's transition to the defense. Uh, we're going to talk about a left end for This is going to come from Jacksonville State, if I can try to find them um, on this uh, little, here we go, right here. Uh, we got J-Rock Swain. Yes, and C, 71 speed, 79 excel, 80 strength, 81 tackling, 81 play rec, 80 block shedding with 69 power moves, and 75 finesse moves. 5'10", 255. He's a light guy who's going to be flying around the edge. 71 speed, it could be a little bit better, but yes, and C, on these initial stats, he's very good. He has good awareness too, which it does matter. You may think awareness doesn't matter. Awareness definitely does matter, guys. Those physical attributes definitely do matter, but regardless, he's going to be a very, very good run stopper with 80 block shedding his play rec is very good and tackling so if you need a great great left end you know stopper of the run this card is very good his and honestly his pass rush stats you're not going to notice a difference i don't think he's going to still get to the quarterback 71 speed he's 510 he's light he's going to be moving around the edge of the corner um he's not bad whatsoever it's keanu do keanu tan uvasa it's good pronunciation right there, NDG. Good pronunciation. Uh, 60 speed is a little slow, I will say. His speed is not great, but the rest of his stats, look at them. 73 excel, 81 strength, 81 tackling, 80 play rec, 80 block shed, 79 power moves, with 65 finesse moves. 6'4", 301. He is a big body who is going to make people pay. He is an absolute tank up the middle. He's going to stop the run. He is incredible at that. If you have him along with the J-Rock Swain we just talked about, I'll tell you what. There's not going to be a lot of people run the ball all over you with those um, Judkins, whatever his first name is, Junkins from Ohio State. There's not going to be a lot of people running the ball across you guys. So this defense tackle, 81 overall, not too bad. You know, I definitely recommend him if you need a D tackle. So now let's talk about some cornerbacks. We're going to talk about two of them right here because these are some of the most important positions on the field. Um, this is one of the top guys I'd recommend getting if you need someone. Not Oklahoma State. Jeez, I am messing up all the time. Uh, Oregon State is where this guy's going to come from. Oregon State, he's a promo player from the Ultimate Alumni. We're talking about Andre Jordan Jr. 81 speed, 81 excel, 81 agility, 80 jumping, 81 play rec, 74 man, 81 zone, 72 press. Obviously, his, he's not the best man-to-man -man corner. I will say that. But he is a fairly, fairly good zone corner. And I know a lot of people enjoy running zone, so this is why I'm going to put him on this list. Andre Jordan, 81 speed. Like I said, it is fast enough. He's 6'1". He's a little bit bigger of a corner as well. 172 on the weight. He's not going to get completely bullied around on the outskirts. But overall, this card, very, very good, especially for a zone scheme. This is one of the top guys that are going to be a budget beast for you guys. The other corner we're going to talk about is going to come from the SEC. We're going to Texas A&M. Texas A&M is going to show us Mr. Will Lee the third. He is a man of man corner. So now you have someone else on the opposite side. And this card's a demon. 81 speed, 81 good sell, 81 agility, 81 jumping, 79 play rec, 81 man, 76 zone, 76 press. And look at that height, guys. He's six foot three. This is a humongous corner, guys. He's going to make plays for you guys on the outskirts of the numbers. 81 speed is also elite at this game, or at this point in the game, and his jumping and his man coverage. If you run a man scheme, this is the guy you want. Will Lee the third, even as a third type guy, this guy's going to play for, you know, pretty solid for a little bit in this game. So Will Lee is an elite player if you need a budget beast. Finally, we're going to go to the strong safety, and this is going to be more of a user pick. I know a lot of people like to run strong safeties as their users, and we're going to go all the way to the bottom to the Mountain West, I believe they're in. Look at me testing my knowledge with these schools. We got Mr. Isaac White right here. 81 speed, 81 excel, 65 tackling, 81 play rec, 76 pursuit, 72 man, 81 zone, 79 hit power. 
Now, you guys might be wondering, hey, the stats don't jump off completely. Six foot one, 201. The reason I have him on this list is because this is probably the best budget user you're going to get in the game unless I'm missing someone completely. This card's incredible. 81 speed, 79 hit power. That's all you need to know. If you're controlling this card, that's all you need to know. And if you even go down to his change of direction, 76 is pretty good for a strong safety at this point in the year. So that being said, I think this is the best budget user, and those are 10 budget beasts currently in College 25 Ultimate Team. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below, turn on post notifications. Let me know if I missed out on anybody. Maybe we'll do a part two or something like that. So please let me know if there's some cards that you've been using in the game that you really do enjoy. Maybe we'll even up this to 50,000 coins in a future video and talk about some players beneath that. But again, I appreciate all you guys' support. So close to 1,000. Hopefully we can hit 1,000 by the end of the night. It would mean a lot. And I'm NTG. Peace out.